Welcome to Harley Street Beauty, the brand new show which gives you all the advice you need to look and feel great. As usual, we'll also give you exclusive insight into the fascinating world of cosmetic surgery. But before that, here's what else we've got on today's show. We visit the renowned Derma Spa for a unique facial treatment known as Collagen Wave. My skin looks different, it looks like it's refreshed. I head back to Aviva Cosmetic Dentistry for my ongoing Invisalign treatment. And we'll keep an eye on her maybe about every six weeks until the process is finished. We meet Dr. Dan Dunar, the Michelangelo of Botox, as he takes on a complex case. She needs to have a dazzling smile. If you're thinking of getting injectables in time for your wedding, we've got some essential advice for you from Botox guru Dr. Dan Duna, the Michelangelo of Botox. We headed to Dr. Dan's Harley Street Clinic to find out more. Today I'm treating Claire. Claire is a celebrity blogger and London socialite. Unfortunately, Claire's really worried about her lip area. When she smiles, the lips look too thin. And obviously when she's on the red carpet, when she's projecting herself at the cameras, she needs to have a dazzling smile. I am a blogger, I blog about things about London, that's how I got to meet Dr Dan. I've heard he's the Michelangelo of Botox and he's really good and he's really passionate about what he does. I'm quite conscious of when I smile, it kind of disappears and gum show and you know looking back at pictures I'd, I'd quite like to fill them out a bit. I'm going to be adjusting Claire's upper lip, rebalancing um, one side over the other, improving a little bit of definition both in the upper and bottom lips. When done well, a lip treatment doesn't take long. Preparation is always key. We're going to be using Juvederm Ultra Smile, which is a specialised lip product by um, the manufacturers of Botox and Juvederm, called Allegan. It's an international pharmaceutical company, so it's a really strong pedigree, great heritage, and it's a lovely, soft, smooth product that's going to give you a lovely, defined lip. Juvederm Ultra Smile actually has built-in anaesthetics, so it's a very comfortable procedure that can be done quite quickly. Last time when I had it done, the numbing cream didn't make my lips as numb, so it was a bit painful. It was last October, so they've lost a bit of volume again, so I'd like to get that done again today. What you want is when you smile, you see more lip, and that's exactly yeah, what you see. Exactly okay? what it's a lovely, soft, smooth product that's going to give you a lovely, defined lip, lots of suppleness, lots of lift, okay? So what do you reckon, Wendy? Smile? We need to do a bit of a million because automatically that will give her a couple of extra millimetres. Absolutely, yeah. that's right. And she's got the dip there. And we need and she's to... got the puckering there. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, it, it is a bit fiddly. How's that feel? Is that okay? Mm -hmm. So what I'm doing here is I'm elevating the border of the lip slightly, just giving Claire a beautiful definition and border. And that in itself can just elevate the lip beautifully. How's that feel? It's all right? Did that hurt much? No? Okay. Juvederm Ultra Smile does contain anaesthetic. So immediately after treatment, the mouth area will feel quite heavy and a little bit numb. So if you're going for that after treatment drink, you may find that a little difficult. Okay, Claire, we're done. I better show you what it looks like. Yes, please. You ready? <laughs> Here we go. Oh, wow. There's a little bit of swelling. You just see that looks yeah. a little shiny. Mm -hmm. It's all no, forced, unfortunately, yeah. to get a tiny little bruise just mm -hmm. there and there. But I mean, that's nothing that that's makeup or lipstick yeah. can actually cover up. Oh, the important fantastic. thing is that, you know, you've got that sort of fullness. It doesn't look tout out It looks really natural. Mm. You can really tell the difference. We find out how Claire got on a bit later in the show. At the start of the series, Dr. Julian Kaplan thought my teeth were a prime candidate for the Invisalign treatment, an alternative to veneer. Let's head back to the Aviva clinic in Hertfordshire to find out how progress is going. I'm back here in St Albans at the Aviva clinic visiting Julian. This is now my third appointment and I'm really, really excited about this Invisalign process. What they do is they put a mould on your teeth, send it off to California. It takes about six weeks, I think I waited. Second appointment I came in, they fitted my first brace. Cool. It was really weird, but I'm actually really enjoying wearing them. 
And then the third appointment today is when they put the fixtures on your teeth and I'll have these fixtures for the rest of the procedure. So I think that's looking at about six months from now. So right now Naomi has uh, had a, a liner one in place for about two weeks and she uh, will be coming back to see me to have the attachments placed on her teeth. And then we'll give her a number of aligners to go away with uh, and we'll probably see her maybe in about six weeks time and see how the aligners are working for her. And we'll keep an eye on her maybe about every six weeks until the process is finished and, uh, and she's got her teeth just in the right place. Step one, we take impressions of Naomi's mouth and those are sent to California. Step two, California creates a, a virtual treatment plan and makes the aligners. Step three, Naomi comes back in, we try the aligners in place and she goes away with the first aligner for two weeks just to get used to it. Step four, we put small attachments on her teeth and these will allow us to be really accurate in the tooth movements. And then step five, she has a number of aligners she goes away with and every now and then we have her back in the practice just to check on how she's doing. These are new aligners with new attachments on. So these four here and then this side, we have two on this side. For me, I'm finding it perfectly fine. It's going really well. It's not uncomfortable to wear it. The first day, it's a bit unusual. So you get a new brace roughly every two weeks. It's, it's fine, you just need to remember, don't wear it when you're eating. And secondly, try to avoid drinking anything with any colors in it while you're wearing it. Other than that, you just yeah, wear it day to day, sleep in it. Uh, depending on the case, Naomi's case, uh, we're hoping it's gonna take between six months and a year. Uh, I would say average uh, case would take between a year to 18 months, depending on how complicated uh, the case is. Uh, some cases are going to do really quickly, six months, um, more complicated ones, 18 months, average about a year. But I am so excited. I can't wait to see the results, but I'll let you know what happens next time I come back to visit Julian. It's time for our home beauty part of the show now, where we tell you how to get celebrity sheet right from the comfort of your own home with the help of our in-house team. This week we head to Celebrity Salon Lock and Ego in Chelsea to join Jonathan Long, stylist to the stars, as he gives his advice to all those busy mums out there. When you're home colouring, it's quite important that you know where you're going and what you're doing. First things first, patch test. You must do your patch test. 24 hours to 48 hours. I'd say preferably 48 hours worth of patch test to see if you're allergic to these products. It does happen a lot. A little bit of Vaseline around the hairline, especially on dark colors. Do your whole hairline, top of your ears, earlobes, and that background to the bottom. Make sure this is done. I always say home coloring is not a single person deal. It should be one or two of you. Because to be truthful, to get in the positions you need to get into, do what you need to do, it does help to have an extra pair of hands to get your friends, your mums, your partners, anybody to give you a helping hand. Make sure you're choosing the right colour. A lot of people have this perception of their own colour being a dark brown, a medium brown. It's not. Normally, most people will put too dark a colour or too light a colour. With Frances's hair, because she's naturally fair, we want to be careful we're not going too far. There is a percentage of grey there that we need to cover, but we don't want to try and make it too different. Don't go too dark to what you're using naturally, what your natural hair colour is, because all you're going to get is terrible roots within a week. So just try and go as near to your natural colour. So if you are going pretty grey, make sure you're using as light as you can get away with. So you tone the grey down, you're not trying to cover it as such. When you're putting on your colours, the easy way to go is always do your roots first. So always, I always start with the hairline. You just use your finger. Don't go mad with the colour. Sometimes people, I think, go a bit far with it and put far too much on. But as you can see, I'm just pushing it all into the root, and the root only, and following the whole hairline. These are the parts that you're gonna see first of all. So just make sure when you're putting it on, you're really massaging it into that root. So you're actually getting it onto the hair that you need it to get onto. If you're using dark colours, always up and away so that's not going to be a hassle. Sectioning. A lot of people don't do their sectioning in the right way. They try and take all sorts of different ways of getting there and hence why the hair doesn't take properly. So what I would suggest is do your hairline first. 
you have your four sections which are all in so one two three four home coloring people tend to think home coloring means you sat at home on your own you've had a bad night you've got Bridget Jones diary out and you know you're doing your home color I think you should make it a bit of fun I, I, I always recommend especially when you're going through the backs unless you're as Francis very aptly said a contortionist you'd go in pretty well to get your hands above and to do these sort of angles through the scalp and to make sure you've got the full coverage so I would always suggest that you know if you take this little 60 seconds and show your partner unless they're very cack handed they really should be able to put this colour through the back for you help you out when you're colouring lighter don't ever be too concerned when the mid lengths and ends are a little bit redder than the roots because that's just because they've got the moisture in them that will dry out and as you'll see later it won't be so different when you're rinsing the hair colour one of the most important things obviously we have a basin here so we've got a salon basin but one of the most important things I always say is once you've damped the hair down and once you've wet it completely all the way through then use the colour to emulsify the colour sounds very simple but this is how we get to lift the colour off the scalp it's very important because colour lifts colour away from the skin. So that's Home Colouring 101. I hope everybody enjoys the looks and I hope that you follow my tips and they help you a lot. And hopefully you'll have shiny and glossy hair just like Francis. Thank you Francis. Thank you. Welcome back to Harley Street Beauty, the show that helps you look and feel amazing. Coming up on Harley Street Beauty. We're back with Claire to see how she got on at Dr. Dan's clinic. 100% happy with the results. We visit the renowned Derma Spa for a unique facial treatment known as Collagen Wave. But it carries on going and working for about six months after each treatment. At the start of the show, we saw Claire having injectables to boost her lips. One week later, she was back for her checkup with Dr. Dan. But before we head back to the clinic, we went out and about to see what you thought about this sort of treatment. It's also, it numbs your muscles, so you just a little bit plain, no facial expressions. I've done it three times in my life. When you work with fashion with a lot of people, you get a lot of criticism. So I think it's uh, good. People who love it, done it. People who didn't done it now, want to try it. The thing I think about is, does it feel nice? Because if it's not nice to kiss the lips, if they look good, but then you're like, oh yeah, I'd really like to kiss them, and then it feels horrible. Like, are they hard? Or I don't know. I like the lip injection is like really affordable. You can get for like three, 300 quid inside. So do you feel that I'll do that? I might possibly think about getting something like that done. Um, but at the moment, you know, young, fresh skin, it's nothing to worry about. Um, but. I think as I get older it might be a concern. Celebrity blogger Claire had mediocre results from her previous treatment, which is why she sought out Dr. Dan Duna to give her the lips she was looking for. Let's see how she got on. I came in for the Juvederm Ultra Smile treatment on my lips to make them fuller and I'd had no confidence since my last appointment uh, last year when I had it done and it was quite painful but I'd heard that this clinic was really good. 100% happy with the results. Lots of friends and families have complimented on my lips. They look natural. They're more hydrated now. They don't look like they've had any work done. What we don't want is um, a trout pout, a heavy look, um, a lip that doesn't fit the face. When I assessed Claire earlier, I was looking at the way the lip sits with the chin, sits with the nose, sits with the eyes, sits with the cheekbones. So all these things have to be taken on board and so the initial assessment and consultation is absolutely vital. It's a very safe product because after a period of time the body will actually naturally start breaking it down. 
I get a lot of older ladies that have got a very dry lips, scared of pigments because the media unfortunately is projected. They're putting just small amounts of Juvederm Ultra Smile just delicately in the lip. You do get a subtle enhancement but you get that lovely hydration as well. It's definitely restored my faith now in this treatment. Juvederm Ultra Smile can last up for 12 months. But the mouth area is highly vascular and it's engorged with blood vessels. We're constantly using the mouth area to, to talk and, and to eat. In reality, I find that Juvederm Ultra Smile lasts about six months to eight months when done well. My advice would be come see Dr. Dan. The Juvederm Ultra Smile, it didn't hurt me at all. I'm very happy. Having the confidence with the smile and, and having this treatment again is priceless. There's so many facials and different products to pump and plump the skin, but it's almost impossible, not to mention costly, to try them all. A collagen wave treatment consists of radio frequency combined with ultrasound waves being used to heat up the deeper layers of the skin to encourage the production of new collagen. This non-invasive treatment is a painless effective way of long-term non-surgical skin tightening and lifting. After hearing great things about the collagen wave treatment at the Dermaspa Clinic in Milton Keynes, we headed up to find out more. I'm back in Milton Keynes at the Dermaspa Clinic to try and test a new technique called collagen wave. I've not heard about it before and it's meant to be a tightening anti-aging technique. The clinic and the treatment is favoured by many celebrities so let's try it out. You'll see me now, during and post so let's see how it goes. Now Collagen Wave is the name of the treatment right. and what, we, what it uses is radio frequency energy. We're going to work on, on the whole of the face and down to the neck area as well. I'm going to be guided by you really. Everyone's heat thresholds are different so we'll ha we have different sort of temperatures that we can go up to right. really. Okay. So just cleansing first of all just to take off any makeup and any excess grease and oil of the skin. Obviously the hotter you can take it better, but we don't want you to be lying here in pain, it's still gonna be working. Yeah, okay. Sometimes the heat gets a bit much in one area, so we'll, Move we'll keep moving, yeah. The radio frequency gel, which is applied before the treatment. We're just gonna apply this to all areas of the face. We feel a bit cold when it goes on. It's gonna heat up as the treatment continues. A probe sends heat into the lower tissues of the skin okay. and it generates new collagen and elastin production. It's good for all ages because it's an anti-aging treatment. Sure. So if you were a young person, so say you were early 20s mm -hmm. and you wanted to maintain your, your skin tone and elasticity, then I'd probably recommend you have it done once every 6 to 12 months. Although we have a lot of older clients, we would probably suggest they have a course of treatment, so between 3 to 15, 20 treatments. Yeah. And then once they've had that course, then they would go on to a maintenance plan of six to tw uh, every six to twelve months. I tend to start on the neck and work my way up. Okay. Okay. The thing is, if you go over one area for too long, mm -hmm. the eight starts to feel like a ten. It's about a nine, but about I don't mind. It's gonna. You're doing really well there. So you get like an instant skin tightening, oh, but it carries on going and working for about six months after each treatment. I find it relaxing. Do oh you? Gosh, yeah. So you will see an improved tone, probably a tightening on the jawline, uh, the nose to mouth lines will, you know, will soften. Yep. And you'll see that the under eye lines look a lot, the skin looks more taut. You're absolutely fine. Yeah, it's not Is that. that heat okay? You could put it up probably one. You might find this, you feel the heat a little bit more because obviously your forehead's quite bony. Yeah. I definitely feel a tighter. I definitely can even, I feel I see it, like it looks, my skin looks different, it looks like it's refreshed and this is completely like no makeup whatsoever, so completely bare. What we would recommend is that you don't expose the skin to strong sunlight for about 48 hours afterwards and then we ask you to wear a sun factor which is beneficial anyway every day. I can't believe. I have not a shred of makeup on um, and I feel quite comfortable. It feels nice and tight and it actually feels quite smooth but it does feel, it feels sort of fresh. So you'll see what it's like in a few weeks obviously and hopefully I'm gonna come back and have a few more of these and have a look back in six months time. So the idea is to um, use it as a treatment to 
renew the lower levels of collagen. So hopefully, in a year's time, I'm gonna have really plump skin. So it's definitely, definitely a great alternative to the other um, skincare anti-aging regimes out there. That's all we've got time for today, but join us next week for more top tips on looking and feeling amazing.